My name is Ken Schretzman. I'm a film editor on Toy Story 3. My name is Robert Graham Jones. I'm a film editor here at Pixar. When film editors are working, they call it cutting because it comes out of the tradition of physically cutting film. The film is made in pieces. It's made in close-ups and wide shots and different angles. Someone has to make the choice of how these pieces go together. My name is Steve Bloom. I'm an editor. My name is Jeannie Applegate. I'm an assistant editor at Pixar. There's a lot of trial and error. You usually have more than you need to work with, and you kind of have to get down to the real heart of the scene. Editing is really about storytelling. The goal is to find the story and find the way to tell it in the most efficient and entertaining way possible. The most common question I ask myself when cutting is, do we really need this? Can we say it in a look? Can we do these two things at the same time? What can we throw out? What can we combine? What can we add? Editorial is like a melting pot. Animation, layout, story, lighting, and we get to put it all together. I am Torben Bullock. I am a motion picture editor here at Pixar. My name is Renee Steen. I'm an assistant film editor. It seems like every day, every month, every year, the movie changes. And you see all the different stages. And I just, I don't know, I love that. So there's a certain kind of personality that gravitates towards editorial, that likes data and creativity and technique and technology in this kind of never-ending, organized chaos mess. This isn't the tool I use now. This is a tool I used when I first got excited about making movies. My brother bought this for $6 at a police auction. You wind it up, and then it can shoot movies. And then my brother flicked it up, and we realized this camera can take one frame at a time. And you know what that means? That means you can animate. My name is Lee Unkrich. My first job at Pixar was as an editor on the original Toy Story, and I am now the director of Toy Story 3. The editor in a live action film is very reactive. They're reactive to whatever the director happened to catch with the camera on the set. Mistakes and all, the editor needs to take that footage and try to make something great out of it. In animation, we can create kind of a rough draft version of the movie using the storyboards and temporary dialogue and music. And if I, as the editor, want a close-up of a character, I can just talk to the director about it. As a result, the editor has a degree of control over the filmmaking that uh, an editor in live action would never have. Editorial in general, and Pixar is no exception, is one of the last kind of remaining apprenticeship systems, I think, in the film business. My first job on film was an apprentice editor on a TV movie. I was an assistant editor for several editors, uh, most of them out of New York. I was a PA. I felt like they taught me everything I needed to know on that job, how to you know, handle film, how to rewind it, how to splice it. One of the editors I work with is very cerebral. He'll think about making a cut for hours, whereas other editors just try a hundred things just very fast. Well, we use a lot of tools in editorial, but the main thing that I use every day are my notebooks. Every time I learn something new, I immediately write it down. I'm Bradley Furnish, second assistant editor. These are my brains. Editorial's the hub. Everything comes in and out of editorial. Hundreds of thousands of pieces of media flying in and out. You have to sort them, organize them, export them, color code them, anything you can. <laughs> My name is Anna Walitsky. I started at Pixar on Toy Story 2 as a production assistant, and now I'm editing on Toy Story 3. There's a great reward in starting with pieces and putting it together in a way that, that takes it to a different level. It requires a certain amount of complete honesty that you can't just hope that something's working. It has to really work, and you have to be able to admit that it's not so you can continue and fix it. You know, we, we remake the film so many times. The very first version of the film, it's temporary. I know I can put together a good scene and I put a lot of effort into it, but at the same time, I have to be willing to, once I finish cutting it, be willing to let it go immediately. So yeah, I think editing is in large part about letting go of things you care deeply about in order to make a better film. <laughs>